Doc Rivers disclosed before the game that Bradley actually has injuries to both shoulders. The left shoulder of the two. Bradley's tried everything the last few games to stay out on the court. The loss of Bradley does affect the Celtic bench, of course, with Allen in the lineup. Yeah, it, it definitely does, but you love having a guy like Allen that knows his place in the team. I'll tell you what, Greg Steensma knows his role That's on the right. Play. He did not play in the last game, and Doc Rivers said maybe I should have had him in there. He has now hit two straight buckets in the hole. Rebounding a big key to Philadelphia winning the last game, and they're getting their second chance once. But who counted on Steensma, who has hit three in a row? The rookie from Wisconsin, Philadelphia. With under two minutes to playing in the first. Brandon Bass beats Steensma, and Steensma with a terrific first quarter has hit all four of his shots plus a block. Even though it was two passes after Ray Allen caught the ball, that play is one of the most simple plays you can do. Pin down, everybody has to pay attention to Ray Allen. He dumps it to a big guy who gives it to another big guy, all because of the shooting of Ray Allen. Lou Williams, who has come on strong, misses the layup inside, pushing it is Rondo. Rondo pushing it against Iguodala. He to do against the Celtics when they fell behind by that big margin 18 in Philadelphia. And losing his footing is Turner, and he's trying to force it up against two defenders. Bass got a hand on it. Here comes Boston. And the shot is missed outside by Pierce. New clock. Steensma gets credit for the last block. Rondo, stop and go. Steensma. 11 assists for Rajon Rondo. And Steensma, who started the game on fire, is 5 for 5 for 10 points. And Williams has his shot blocked, and it might have been Steensma again. Rondo, pass, does he do it again? Celtics get the ball again, however, and can play for the last shot. Great extra hustle play by Michael Peaches. This crowd will go wild anyway, but if the Celtics get their biggest lead, it'll be definite. Pierce. The lead is nine. 